I'm John Derson Buffel and I will be discussing about the metal fabrication technique of rolling. So first, ito yung rolling mill machine. So rolling mill machine, lalang tayong tinatawag na rolls. Yung rolls is made out of metals which are in the, in, a, in cylinder form. So ang, pre, ang principle kasi ng rolling is meron kang metal sample. Tapos, i-feed mo siya dun sa dalawang yun, sa dalawang roll na umiikot in opposite directions. Para kapag pinasok mo yung, ano, yung metal sample mo, yung kakalabasan is mas malipis na. Yan. Ang mangyayari is, yung ano niya, liliit, yung cross-sectional area niya, liliit yung thickness, while hahaba yung length at saka yung width. Okay. So, ayan yung mechanism niya. Yung dalawang cylinders rotating in opposite directions, ito yung metal na finid mo. Pansinin nyo, yung width, mas malaki after siyang i-roll. Diba? Okay. And tapos yun. Uh, lalaki yung width, lalaki yung length. Next, the hierarchy of rolled materials. The hierarchy of rolled materials naman, gusto ko lang siya i-point out kasi ito yung mga terminology na gagamitin. Depende dun sa size ng metal sample. From cassette ingots to strips, pa-abaya. Right. Types of rolling. Hot rolling, cold rolling, trend rolling, ring rolling, and shape rolling. Hot rolling. Uh, hot rolling is wherein the metal is heated between its recrystallization temperature, recrystallization temperature, and melting temperature. And dapat andito siya sa gitna ng dalawang yun. About 0.6 of its melting point. Kailangan natin na at this at between these two temperatures yung sample natin kasi kailangan natin siya maging part solid and part liquid wherein it's part solid enough para mas maging madali yung pag-press pag pag-roll nung ano nung material natin mas madali pero not not too much liquid part na magiging flowy na siya so yan yeah. between these two about 60% of the metal forms equiax grains and produces more grain boundary. So, siguro nagtataka kayo, bakit equiax? Eh, di ba, ni-roll nga. So, supposedly, dapat elongated. Pero ito. Sipin nyo, ito yung initial material. Right? Tapos, i-roll siya. So, liliit yung thickness. Ito yung rolls. Rolling in opposite direction. Initially, yung grains mo, before siya i-roll, is coarse. Malalaking grains. Kapag ni-roll mo siya, dun siya mag-elevate. Right. Yan, mas makakaba. Kaso, between nga siya ng melting at recrystallization, there will come such a time na aabot siya dito sa recrystallization. So, mag-form is Maliliit na grains. Ayan. Tapos yung mga maliliit na grains na yun, mag-ano, mag, mag, mag form ng mas malaking grains na hindi na elongated. Tapos po kasi, sa katuli, merong point ng process nila na merong rapid cooling. Tapos dito sa rapid cooling na to, Alam naman natin na kapag ano kapag ni rapidly cool yung isang material sa metal, magpo-produce siya ng maliit na grains. Na equiax. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, has, uh, ito yung makikita pa natin yun dito. Coarse, coarse grains at first, elongated. Then pag nag-recrystallize na, Maliliit na ulit na equiax. Okay. Uh, has a poor surface finish due to the formation of scales. So, so ano yung scales? Uh, yung scales is yung napoproduce with, dun sa surface ng metal kapag hinatroll siya. And yung scales. Ito ang mga kutipote. Yan. They are usually made out of iron oxides, uh, non-ferrous metals, and minsan kasi, 
na ano gumagamit yung mga manufacturers ng oils dun sa metal if, ano during rolling kaya possible na yun ito yung nag-form sa surface ng metal pag hinatro basically parang impurity siya uh, cold rolling mm, cold rolling where the metal is at room temperature and requires more pressure from the cylinder rolls with less impact on size kasi nga room temperature na hindi na siya part solid part liquid mas kaila mas malaki na yung kailangan yung pressure para ma baba yung size niya kahit pa okay na less impact on size kasi nga cold na siya uh, provides close dimensional tolerance as opposed with hot rolling kasi ang ginagawa ginagawa is hot roll tapos iko cold roll kaya sa hot rolling hindi naman ano hindi naman diretso na kung ano yung yung na feed mo doon ay na yung kailangan mo so minsan nagko cold rolling pa para ma ano further furnish yung metal sample para mas maging malapit siya doon sa requirements na dimension yeah improves mechanical properties and the surface finish ayun nga pero sa labi ko surface finish mas maganda yung ano yung magkakalabasan pag kinodro siya after i mag-go siya ng process ng uh, hot mode. Okay. Improves mechanical property. So, katulad nga nung sinabi nung lecture 1, na kapag kinold work mo, is mag entangle yung dislocations, tapos, mas mahirapan sila gumano. Tapos, tataas yung yield stress, tensile stress, tapos yung uh, tensile strength, tapos yung bababa yung ductility. Ayan, ito makikita natin dito. Coarse grains at first, ni roll, maging elongated grains. So, yung elongated grains, mag, ano siya, magiging reason siya for long, ah, for longer grain boundaries, making this, making it, this no, making it hard for dislocations. <laughs> shape, ah, uh, shape rolling, a flat shape material is progressively bent into a series of rolls in order to produce irregular shape products. Produces construction materials, built automotive parts, etc. So, to, nakadepende kasi dun sa ano, sa kung ano yung itsura ng magiging rolls mo, kung ano yung kakalabasan. Kasi pwede kang magpadaan ng flat metal sheet sa ganito, tapos ito yung kakalabasan. Medyo triangular na shape. Yan. <coughs> yung sa mga ano, mga bubong-bubong, yung mga wavy na pagalan. Sa mga yero. Yan. Tapos, ito, ito yung progressive na ano progressive series niya pag na si shape roll right tapos ito thread rolling deformation process to form threads on a cylindrical material by rolling between two dies uh, it produces bolts and screws ito yung meron akong video okay yeah. black siya nung una tapos ito ipitin so magkakaroon ng thread same thing, karan ng thread. Yan. Yung dalawang to, ito yung dice. Ay, yeah, ito yung dice. Sabay nung una, blank. Blank lang. Tapos nung ilipit yung dice, saka, nakulus yung threads. Next, uh, ring rolling. The hollow donut sheet material is placed between an inside roll and an outside roll. It is also possible to have edging rolls. Produces walls for ball bearings. Yan. Ah, ito, ito yung simulation niya. Ito, ipupush niya, ito yung sample, ipupush niya para lumipis, tapos lumaki yung diameter. Okay. Push, lilit yung, lilit yung thickness, hahaba yung diameter. Itong dalawa, actually, itong dalawa, ito yung edging rolls. Mga, mga mukhang kabuti. Na ang gagawin nila is, hahaba to, pero na maintain yung length, yung, yung height. Na maintain yung height. Okay. Yan. Okay. Continuous rolling. Use a series of rolling wheels wherein each set, called a stand, ito yung stand, reduces the size of, initial, of the initial material. Each stand moves at different velocities such that the input speed of each stand is synchronized with the output speed of the previous stand. So basically, ang sinasabi nila is dapat yung speed nila is synchronized para walang, ano, walang error 
Kasi paano kung mas mabilis yung isa? Wala, well, mas mabilis to kaysa ano, sa kaya ilabas nito. Mo putol kasi mas lalo mabilis. Tapos itong dalawang to, sila yung nagme-maintain ng tension para neuron ng habang neuron nito may fini-fini. Ay. Ah, yun lang po yung report. Ah, uh, thank you. Topen references kung may tanong kayo. Chat na lang kayo. Salamat.